Mr. Jared, I've been watching for a long time now. I enjoy all your videos, but the heartwarming ones are my absolute favorite. I got to thinking about one that comes from my family. But one of my ancestors, Brent Wilder. He struggled, had a lot of hardships, and done a good deed, kept his faith, and by doing so, a miracle happened. Now my ancestor Brent's, he lived in the hills of Alabama a long time ago. He lived down in a low small holler in an old cabin. And he was mighty religious too. And being a religious man, he studied his Bible every day, morning and night. While he was working in his garden one morning, a low small pup showed up. Well, he asked around to everybody, nobody claimed it, so he decided to keep it. It was snow white with brown paws. Well, he kindly saw that as a sign, being religious and stuff, so he named it Saint after Saint Peter. Now, I'm not quite sure what breed the dog was, but the way the story goes and everybody tells it in the family, it was, seemed to be a fairly large dog. But anyway, Brent's was poor as an outhouse mouse. As time went on, folks started moving in down there to the holler where he was at. And a lot of them was mighty good folks. But there's a few of them that was kind of well to do, you know, had a lot of money. And he said them folks weren't even worth looking at. So he tried to be nice to them and they'd always just snarl their nose up in there. Said one day, they started acting all friendly and everything. Then they told him they wanted to buy his land. Well, he told them it weren't for sale, and said that made him just madder than the old devil. Said one old fellow told him, said he didn't hear the word no. Said he got what he wanted, one way or another. Said Brent's told him, said well not this time. Well, time went on, and every morning, Brent said he'd study his Bible. Then, like clockwork, he'd go out into the yard. It didn't matter if it was raining or shining, and he'd kneel and pray. Said when he kneeled down in, on the grass there, said he felt closer to the Lord. One morning, he was there praying, kind of cloudy light, but a little old beam of light shined through and shined right on him. Well, after he got done praying, he said he started going to work, cutting trees, stripping bark, you know, cutting logs, making planks, boards, stuff. I said, folks didn't know what in the world he was doing. I said, somebody asked him once, what in the world are you doing, Brent? And he said he told him. He said the Lord had given him a task. Well, some of the well-to-do noticed him doing all that and saw him building a structure. Said they got to whispering about his stuff and everything and got him an idea. One evening, Brent and Saint left, going to preaching. Well, while they was gone, the rich folks paid an old drunkard to go down there and burn the structure. But him being drunkard skunk, he burned his house. The poor old Brent, him and Saint come back to nothing but a pile of ashes. Said the only thing salvageable was some old pots, pans, things. And said to his surprise, said his Bible remained unharmed. Well, said the rich folks said they thought they had broke him right there. 
said Kazi wiped tears away and got down on his knees and started praying. So after that he stood up and took off again. So he went and got another axe and stuff and come back and started to work again. So he kept working on the structure. So he added a little old roof on parts of it in case it started raining him and old saint would have a low roof over their heads. Well, them old rich folks said they'd watch and laugh and things like that, figuring he'd give up and leave soon. But he just ignored them and kept on the building. Well, late one evening, him and saint settled down and the sun was just barely shining. Said he heard something. And old saint heard it too. So he started growling and stuff. Said old Brent kindly hushed him down. And Brent kind of peeved around the corner there. Said when he did, he seen some of them rich folks, an old drunkard, standing just outside the tree line. Said he yelled and asked him what they wanted. Said they told him they wanted him gone. They said he would go one way or another. Said old Saint started barking like crazy. Started just, you know, snapping his teeth and showing his teeth and everything, raising his hackles. Well, said all of a sudden, he stopped. Started whimpering like crazy, tucked his tail between his legs and run back into the structure. Said that confused Brents. Said them old rich people, said that just tickled him to death. Said them and the old drunkard started getting closer. Said old Brent stood there preparing for the worst, you know. Said all of a sudden, the sky went pitch dark. Said every one of them just stopped. Because it happened just suddenly. So they kind of looking around. Said there was a low rumble right above them. About that time, a bolt of lightning come down and struck the ground right in front of them rich folks. Said when it did, they hit the ground, falling backwards and stuff. Brent stood tall and didn't even flinch and said, This structure is a house of God, and you shall not destroy it. Said they jumped up and took off running like a scalded dog. Said he turned around, went back in there, petted the saint, and went to sleep. Next morning, old Brent's out there working on what they know now to be the church for the holler. Some of them rich folks started showing up again. He lowered his brow and throwed his tools down there and went out there and stood stern. Said before he could say a word, said they held their hands up and said, we ain't here for no fighting or nothing. Said they apologized sincerely and asked him if they could help. Brent told him he had done forgive him. So he told him to ask the Lord for forgiveness and they could help. And they did. So they supplied the timber, more workers, paint, and everything. Then, to his surprise, they also started helping him rebuild his house. Weren't no time at all the little old holler had its first little church, and everybody was welcome. Well, they was all excited about the new church. The folks would come down there and look at it and stuff and everything. See, it was beautiful, wonderful little old church. Well, everybody got to noticing none of them was a preacher. So everybody, you know, pretty much knowed the book and stuff and everything, but weren't really quite, you know, like good like a preacher. So they all got studying about that one evening and they went down there and talked to Brins and asked him if he'd preach the good word. He said that he was honored they come to him. So he told him he couldn't say yes or no. He said he'd have to pray on it. And said he did. Told him he felt that it was okay. So he did just that. Said every time before preaching, 
Said youngins would be out there in the yard playing the saint and stuff. And said friends would laugh. And said, said he always told people he didn't know who he was enjoying that more. Them youngins are old saint. They said that little old church, people would come and go. Some folks would come from miles around. Said that little church saved many a soul. Edward says, I loved this story as a kid growing up. I had my grandma, my pa, aunt and uncles, a lot of folks tell it to me a lot of times. I've always held it dear in my heart. And now, no matter where I go, every time I see a little old country church, I can almost see Brent's an old saint there beside him. Well, folks, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for watching it. If you don't mind, if you're new, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Hit that old like button. And now, here's a great big shout out and thank you so much to my amazing channel members.